Hello, welcome to another uh, teleprinter getting it up and running on the internet episode. Uh, no Mike today, unfortunately, because he's sadly come down with COVID. So hopefully he'll be, uh, yeah, getting well soon and back with us. Um, I don't think he's got it too bad, which is which is good. Uh, so just Paul and I, um, we missed the last episode, as you may have noticed, or the time for the last episode. Uh, because uh, I was out on a um, COP26 climate march and Paul and Mike were in different countries um, on holiday. So uh, that's why we skipped that one. And yeah, Paul and I, well, Paul, Paul has a plan as to what we're doing today. So uh, what's the plan, Paul? So the plan is to make it do something. We're going to power it up and see what it does or what it doesn't do and make it do the right thing. Oh, we're going to make it do the right thing. Wow. I didn't even realize it was that advanced. Uh, so yeah, we're uh, going to see where, see where things refresh our memories as where things are and, and then see if we can move things forward. So we will check in as we do or don't do that. Right. Uh, we, we aren't sure where we are, <laughs> but we thought we should check in and, and let you know, uh, about what we've been doing, I suppose. <laughs> I'm not sure we've been learning lots. I guess we have a bit. Um, and we've been we've been trying out. We've mostly been finding that the um, if I show you this picture, so this diagram is where all of the um, positions are on on kind of this type head. Effectively, it's actually the bell cranks in here that it's showing us. Um, and we mostly find that when we send a character, it gets offset by like two or maybe three positions around. So we were sending some O's and we were getting P's or ones. Um, actually, there's a good one. Uh, what was it? Was it C's that we were sending, Paul? That's right. Yeah. So C would give us W's or threes, it seems. So it's like it's getting yeah, a couple of round, which I think is what we did last time. But um, uh, we're gonna fire up the printer and show you what we're talking about. Yeah, and it also depends on whether you send the characters one by one or in groups. Yeah. So if they send C C's in a row, it seems to decode them three ahead. Or if we send C's separately, individually, it's two ahead. Yeah. It might be. A, a, so um, so yeah, let's let's fire it up and so turn the power on and we'll get the um, paper. Let's get to where there's yeah, look, there's definitely nothing being printed there. We'll get the carriage to go back to the start and then we will send like. Separate seeds. Separate seeds. So if we, yeah, look, we're getting nice, consistent W's. So they're all separate ones. Just nice row of W's we're getting there. And they were all C's, supposedly, and mostly we're getting threes at that point. But it's all a bit kind of blurry as well. Yeah. Uh, and back to some nice W's. Um, and let me just power that off while we're chatting um so so yeah that's where we're at where we're at um and we've been trying so we're going like okay it's off by a couple like can we get it to do any of the special so if you look on the sequence like you know the who are you that's going to do loads of typing so maybe that should have been a, a u or an equals but 
that's yeah that's not we haven't been able to trigger that one and similarly we're like okay how do we get carriage returns or line feeds what happens if we send loads of J's and we mostly just get spaces uh, we haven't managed to get any carriage returns or line feeds and the shift in between figures and letters is also a bit a bit weird so it yeah continues to uh, to dumbfound us I suppose but you know we figured we should uh, share share the share the frustration with you no <laughs> share like what we've been trying um, and then we'll yeah in the hope that it was going to trigger some amazing breakthrough but it hasn't yet so we'll see well <laughs> we still have a non-functioning printer uh, we did spend a bit of time getting all of the interface electronics boxed up we checked like we had been running it from the bench power supply um, at 30 volts rather than using the uh, the high voltage kind of boost um, circuit power supply that we've got in the interface electronics um, because I think we switched from that because it was doing weird things we went back and tested that with that it's running at 50 volts at the moment rather than 80 uh, but that seems to work quite nicely um, so so actually you think the interface electronics is looking good we've kind of boxed all that up properly um, like need to get the LED and the antenna working and stuff but the different power supplies all doing the right thing and all clocking in the correct stuff into the teleprinter when we send messages to it so that's a win uh, and then we went back to scratching our heads over how it's yeah kind of getting this off by one ish error um, one thing Paul noticed if I scroll back a bit in this so when when we're sending lots so this is like uh, sending things like character by character and that kind of you know is nice and nicely spaced it's always one character this is um RYA RYA that was being sent which comes through as S Z K um consistently uh and then when you send a run of them you get this sort of weird spacing thing and you tend to get the fives coming through which is it kind of going too even further so instead of going two positions round on the um, kind of bell cranks it sort of goes three positions round on the bell cranks so Paul wondered what would happen if we started sending more stop bits so normally we would send one and a half, one and a half stop bits and so we have started we kind of pushed it up a bit through these ones and it got a bit better and then I mean this run here is you ignore the the J at the start because that's a kind of the space being on the KC but is A B C D E F like all the way down to uh, to Z and the last one gets the Z is a is a space that you can't kind of see on the end of it uh, and and yeah we can see we don't get the so this was all sent as a single run so we don't get that kind of extra spacing problem that we were seeing earlier when we've got three stop bits but we do still get some kind of smearing of some of the letters which we're wondering maybe that's to do with um, this sort of type head still being slightly in motion when it when the type hammer hits it and so you get that kind of smearing um, and as a final test Paul tried um, kind of faking the letters so he carefully worked out um, what the code is as it were so that he could send a, a real word by typing the wrong thing <laughs> uh, which succeeded so we did get you know the word you can just about see encoded the j at the start is the space um coming through from the previous uh 
stuff we were sending. But we're still getting that kind of, you know, even with three stop bits, we still get some weird spacing um, errors, uh, which when you do it slowly, character by character, um, by hand, like again, yeah, space is the J at the start, but then encoded is, you know, printed just fine. So there seems to be, yeah, still something in this typehead area that that's just not not right since I dismantled it um, and reassembled it. So we're going to call it a day today, but I think maybe the next step is going to be to bite the bullet and dismantle it and reassemble it again and see see if we find anything see if we just get lucky the next time we reassemble it uh but yeah like that's i think the next thing to do um the yeah there's a couple of other things like the ribbon isn't advancing properly it should auto feed uh, and that's not happening at the moment um and so we've made a few notes of like things that still need to get done before we uh before we finish it all so um so that hopefully will help us kind of clarify what needs to be done and keep a note of that a bit better um but yeah i think i think that's it for yeah. today yeah so uh yeah click like <laughs> if you like watching us struggle uh, but uh, yeah, like and subscribe and all that jazz and we will see you uh, in a fortnight. Thank you very much.